Yo. All right, our live studio audience has left us. Thank goodness. Going back to the Dojima residence. Let's go. I guess uh, so you said talking. to talk to people. It's like they want me to not try and explore this house. Well, I think since you're still in the first week of gameplay, nothing's going to happen. Literally every <laughs> single night, they're just like, go to bed immediately. They're both telling you, just go, to sit, go lay down. I'm going to turn off the TV. Nope, this is where your forecast is. Oh. Well, I'm going to go outside. It would be best not to leave today. Oh my gosh, I don't have a spring cold. I sneezed one time. I st <laughs> Your body feels heavy. It would be best if you went to bed early today. Uh, fine. I'll let you railroad me game, but not for long. We are living our lives. <gasps> Anime. Is this the... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Wait, is that the girl? Maybe she's blonde hair. Sure. Yeah, but we can't tell from the fog. She's hanging upside down. Uh, that makes me uncomfortable. Oh, you're up. Well, I'm up. You hear like a distant, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I better what? follow him. Better leave this little girl out on her own. Or maybe the game will keep railroading me. I would just love to hear one fuck. <laughs> hey, to keep it PG-13. This is an M-rated game. You can hear girls gossiping. You hear sirens nearby. Everybody in these shows are super concerned with gossip. Well, that's how you get your exposition. Games. That's how you get your exposition. You decide to head to school instead. Best not to worry about have Dojima. I no, yeah, have I no curiosity? No. As far as we know, your curiosity is still at zero. <laughs> <laughs> curiosity stat zero. By it, do they mean corpses? Do they just refer to male or female corpses as it? I guess since they're no longer, like, living people. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln's an it now. <laughs> Oof. We know it's not Yukiko, because she's an important character. <laughs> yeah. If that character is in the opening... A uh, little animation. It's, it's very unlikely she's gonna die super soon. Like, like the fifth day. <laughs> yeah. I'm just looking so on. Is this a court hearing? I'm resigning. I don't understand why a world history teacher just has to have, like, Egyptian attire on. Ancient Egyptian attire. She's repping that merchandise, fam. I guess. It was Saki! Oh, boy. It was her. Uh. 
Maybe it's late at night, but this actually has a lot of impact on my stomach. Yeah. <laughs> like, I felt goosebumps. I just feel like a pit. Like, oh. Like, she felt like a major character. They killed her off early. Facts. It's a great question. She was found upside down on a telephone wire. I don't think you're in the right mind to tell your students calm down after one of them was found dead. Yeah. That's sort of the thing that's going to keep them talking. Yeah. <laughs> Like, thank God our class has never had to do something like that, like, deal something like that. Yeah. But I feel like that's not something you just immediately reassure them with, calm down. Oh, yeah, calm down, guys. Quiet. Quiet. <laughs> yeah. Or else I mean, it'll be you next. Especially because this is a small town, so the school is probably smaller, so they all probably basically knew her. Like, yeah, small town schools, when they get hit with this kind of news, that's more worrying because there's so less people to deal with. Yeah, it's not like, oh, it's just another random faceless person that I don't know, like at a bigger school. This could be my neighbor. <sighs> yeah. Or my own brother. <laughs> you I mean, this probably really still hits hard in all situations, but... Oh, yeah, but... But when you actually put a name to the face, like... Instead of man in class yeah Serial killers, I've heard, uh, are only classified after you have three or more kills. I see. <laughs> I My mom, like, watches a lot of cop shows. Law and Order, something like that. Blue Blood's another one. Uh-huh. But th I remember hearing one of those things was, like, if he kills one more person, it'll be a serial murder case. So I was like, oh, that's co that's sort of interesting. You know, like, that that's what classifies that. Right. But we only see two deaths right now. I'm sure there will be more. <laughs> I, it might be the wife who's the murderer. Maybe, but the wife did have her face scratched out in a lot of those posters. I don't she know. could be going crazy. This it's Persona possible. game is all always about adults going crazy. Right. This is only normal drama. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that midnight channel thingy. Uh, That's who she was. And the bear did say that somebody was forcing people to go into there. Uh, hmm. Someone died. <laughs> yeah, especially that one news announcer was like, you know, like, what was that one creep doing? Answering her, like, asking her all those questions that didn't relate to the story. I don't know. What cup size are you? Probably <laughs> like, something like that. Stupid crap. <laughs> are you really sure you had nothing to do with this case? Huh. Well, we were not personally involved either. We just talked to the one girl. Hey, did you guys check out the TV last night? No. I was oh. told I had to go to bed early because... I... Oh, yeah, his line is there again. I had a cold. Why are the lines there? I don't know. Just listen for a sec. I wonder why. Oh, 
mistaken. See, I look like she is writhing in pain. And then she disappeared from the screen. So I guess the TV screens are a way to like help save your next victims. You mean save them as like store them? Into er, no, like save them before I guess. I don't know. I like, I know there are many differences between the games. Uh, most of the time. I didn't do it last meal. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer, right? To a segue back into a situation about literal teen murder. <laughs> How was your <laughs> lack of wisdom teeth, buddy? Uh... They're fine. Cause that honestly. was that's what that interaction was about. I got I seem to have gotten pretty lucky with my wisdom teeth. They aren't really. Yeah, I thought you went a lot more pain than usual. Yeah, my face is kind of bloated. That's okay. That's like the only thing he has. Son of a bitch got lucky. This is not the kind of music that fits this. No. This is happy jazz. What do you think? Yeah, like, I think what the game is trying to tell you is these victims are about to, you know, be victimized. Right. Here's your time limit to save them. Sounds interesting. I hate self-imposed time limits. Those are the one thing I hate in the game. I want to explore as much as possible, right. but knowing something is going to happen if I use too much of my time. Persona 5 has something like that, but thankfully it is only optional. Right. It's this place called Moment Mementos, which is essentially just a way to get you to farm EXP without doing most of the story missions. It's Morgana the cat said... If you stay in here too long, a person or a beast with like chain whipping sounds will be starting to follow you if you don't get out. <sighs> right. And I think it's a one shotter. Ooh. And this is the kind of game to where you need to save a lot, but you can only save in designated safe rooms. Right. So if you don't, if you haven't saved in a while and you get one shotted. You're screwed. S say goodbye to an hour of progress, buddy. Nice. This is we play music. What do you think? <laughs> so it's not just me, huh? If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. I wonder if that means when we go inside the world, if people see our faces. Maybe. Which means, if we look around, Don't do this. You should just let the police 
The police can't go into this dimension. Only we can. We are bounty hunters. Oh, he doesn't even give me an option. <laughs> Let's go to June. You kinda understand how he feels. But we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. What eh. do we do? Oh <laughs> two of those are messed up. <laughs> you mean stop Yusuke and let Chie decide? Yeah, I feel like Oh, well, the most messed up one is letting Che decide. Yeah. And yeah, we'll go with him. <laughs> yeah, if you go with him, you might get a... Are you serious? Okay. What? That's the opposite of what I said. Why saw. is he holding a golf club? <laughs> oh, that's a weapon, isn't it? Maybe we'll meet that bear again. Maybe isn't good enough. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with it. That's true, but. What about you? Could you just walk away? As I've consistently said, I want to... <laughs> I love the TV world. Yeah. I want to go in the TV world. I like Yosuke better than Chie. I agree with him that we should go in and try and figure stuff out. It's just the game's <laughs> ignoring me because apparently we came here to stop him. Kind of Chie, as far as I'm concerned... <laughs> I've agreed with him on everything. I've agreed with you on nothing. Stop asking me if I agree with you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, she ain't. I'm gonna put this noose next to the other one we found. <laughs> I got a golf club. Medicine times three. I, thought it might be better than going in empty -handed. I stole from the drugstore. I wish I had my dream sword. No use wasting any more. Oh, don't worry, you have a sick ass golf club. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. I bet she lets go of the rope as soon as we get in. She probably gets sucked into it because of the weight. <laughs> <laughs> Shrug her off and wordlessly we walk in. We don't even in. care, yeah. It's not like I'm even trying. It's not like, oh, can I do it? It's just like, eh, I can do it. Like, I... Oh, I was really thinking she was going to get pulled in from the body weight. Oop. ah! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> that lifeline worked. <laughs> she just wordlessly drops to her knees. <laughs> 